Right now, there are around 7.4 billion people on our planet. And over the course of this film, that number will increase by around 700. So have you ever considered how many people could live on Earth? If you weighed all of the terrestrial vertebrates on Earth, 90% of the weight would be made up of humans and the animals that we've domesticated. And this number is only going to increase because we're due to reach a population of 9 billion by 2050. But how many more people the Earth could support is dependent on the standard of living we're prepared to embrace and how much we consume. If we all live the average American lifestyle, the Earth could only support 2.5 billion people, and we're already way beyond that. The great biologist E.O. Wilson suggests that if we all became vegetarian, there would be no need to feed livestock and that would leave more food for us. So in this case, the planet could support approximately 10 billion people. So what happens if we do reach our carrying capacity? Well, it depends how we get there. If we reach that threshold slowly, then the population will level out as birth rates and death rates gradually become equal. However, if our population growth doesn't slow and we rocket past that magic mark with momentum, then resources will dwindle so dramatically that there'll be a tragic die-off event. And the deficit will be so high that the Earth's final carrying capacity will be far smaller than it ever was before. Some people may argue that we're already past our carrying capacity. If you look at how many people are alive now and our current standard of living and the technology we have available, our ecological footprint is huge. We actually need 1.5 planet Earths to sustain our current lifestyle. I know that sounds impossible, but we're in what's termed as an ecological overshoot. We're using Earth's resources 1.5 times faster than the planet can recycle them. The only reason we can continue living like this is because we're relying on fossil fuels which built up over millions of years. The UN predicts that if current consumption and population trends continue, then by the 2030s, we're going to need the equivalent of two Earths to support us. So what's the solution? while environmentalist Joel Cohen likes to use a pie to represent our resources and how we ensure we don't use them all up. We could invite fewer people to eat the pie. By slowing or stopping population growth, it will put less strain on our planet. Or we could simply make a bigger pie to feed more people. This relies on improvements in technology to find alternative energy sources and to make the most out of what's available. Lastly, we could teach everybody to have better manners and share the pie equally. This would involve better distribution of resources and being more mindful about what we use. No doubt it will actually rely on a combination of all of these strategies. Let us know what you think should happen in the comment box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Earth Unplugged. By the end of the first post-human year, all human head lice and body lice would go extinct. In fact, all animals that thrive on our existence would struggle. Everybody always talks about bringing dinos back to life now, but I want to know, what would it be like if we went back to their era?